Hi everyone, Happy New Year. This is Zephy here from I'm Zephy and I love to scrap. And this is my Christmas journal for 2015. It's done and I thought I'll share it with you. I have um, two videos um, with a first couple of pages. I'll put a link on the video, you know, down here. So I've put 215 over there. This paper was my inspiration for my front decoration. Let me just quickly tell you, this was a December Daily Studio Calico album from 2013. Um, my daughter colored in the stars for me. They were all embossed like that, can you see? And just by chance, my sister Val had sent me my Christmas present all the way from South Africa wrapped up in this ribbon, which is perfect. You know, I don't throw anything away. I recycle everything. So um, I started using it in the album. And um, when it came to decorating it, I had some left over. And as you can see, uh, I had to actually join it up under this embellishment to make it fit. I use these metal um, letters. I think they were in my stash. They might be making memories, as were these corners. This album had rounded corners, but I quite like the metal. Um, this was ribbon in my treasure chest from my friend Irini. I need to do a video on my treasure chest still. I added the little bell because I just needed to tie in the brass a little bit. And as I said, um, this paper from my mind's eye was almost the inspiration for the front. I actually wasn't sure what I was going to do with the front, even when I started decorating. I always decorate my front page last. In fact, I had this book in plastic while I was working on it. As you can see there, I've added some lace at the bottom because I love lace and I didn't actually use enough lace in this book. And that's like little plastic... Um, little uh, snow, an uh, icicle, a snowflake. And these little leaves I found at our Christmas shop this year, here in Greece. Um, I won't go through the front pages. I'll just quickly just show you what I did at the end with my front page. I used this, uh, this was an envelope from Typo that my sister had sent me in September 2015. That's actually a nine there. And I just cut a little notch in that. And I put photos in. You all know that the November weekend was a long weekend. And it was quite action-packed just before Christmas, uh, December. So I've got photos of that there. And then here in Greece, they actually um, often make little hangers like this for good luck. And someone had given me this last year for 2000 and 15 and this little wreath and 215 and a tassel which I actually just stapled onto there and what I've done underneath this little flag I've got a piece of acetate so that it won't fall out okay so as I said in my first video I have um, a dashboard I put acetate on the front and um, this is a little foil thing that my friend Eleni had made for me so that's there, and um, I wrote my manifesto right at the end. So what I basically did was a summary of December, because I hadn't got this page done until I finished the book. So that's a little bit awesome about face, but anyway. And here's number one, and as I said in my previous videos, my daughter had made me an advent calendar, and I was glad that I managed to work it into the album. Oh, here's a close-up. Um picture of the paper from my mind's eye uh, Christmas on Market Street so that's um, where I got the inspiration for the front decoration and that's my little elf that I made made him all on my own I was actually experimenting I thought I'd throw it away but eventually he turned into this funny looking elf Nahum and there he is on my advent calendar can you see okay I've, um, I'm going to flip through to where we left off. I've put post-its on the kids, okay? And 
Yeah. So day 12, I'm going to go through here very fast, okay? I don't want this video to be 100 minutes long. I'm talking nonsense now. Anyway, this is a, a birthday cake my daughter Rafaela had made for Lily. Gatsby cake. Um, this page, you can see I just used two photos back to back. In my second video, you see this page before I covered it. This is packaging. It was packaging from 2010, I think. Christmas packaging. So, um, I put paper on the one side. On the other side, I just left little dots to show. And this is a box of stuff that my daughter had given me so I can make decorations. This was the imitation to a crop. Pictures at the crop. Uh, the little paper that we got a little gift in, a paper bag, I've used that. I've put these VLAN pages in between, you know, as sections. So um, that's that. I'm going to jump days, okay, because these pages where the kids are on that, you know, they're quite a lot. Um, this again is a little file folder page that I made. I found that um, the sleeves were too, I didn't get that tactile feeling of scrapbooking. So I've added some paper pages, uh, you know, in between. So I've got a bit of lace here, the little deer cut with my silhouette, a star I made, believe. That's my word for next year, for this year. Then this was in my advent calendar. It says, uh, take photos, take photos all day. And I like the way she said Zekon for Zephi and Constantinidi. So what I did is I laminated it and then just trimmed it around the sides. Put the little day, it was the 16th on it. And so it's made a nice page. Um, that's the 15th. That was a little um, box of chocolates, all made out of little business cards. That one and only shaker pocket in the, in the album. And on the back of it, I put a snowflake. So it's a wood veneer 15 and with a snowflake at the back. There's no home in the visited my daughter's house. So you've got toilet paper all over the chandelier. That's my little one in a tutu. So it says tutu under the mistletoe. We had a birthday in between everything. So that's is that I put one of these pages in today was make some tags on the 18th that's a little card that was in the envelope as was this it was go for a cup of tea so I put that and then I made um, some tags for this day it was nice inspiration I followed um, Shamel's prompts on some days on the days when I wasn't sure what to do you know and then our life is so busy in December and with so many people that you want and so many people doing things in the family, there's always something to do. But on the odd days when I need some inspiration, I went with Shamal's journal, Your Christmas Prompts. Um, so that's it. 19th party time. I put this little flyer in here. Look how I've messed glue on that. This is a fold-out page with far too many photos that are personal, so I'm not even going to show you that. This is the back of this little fly. I just took a 12 by 12 page and flipped it, you know, folded it in the center, center and made a fold-out. This is from the advent calendar. It says, shh, and it says some sneaks, some kisses under the mistletoe. This some mistletoe that my daughter drew with little lips. So I use that in there, the 21st. Oh, I'm going to put it down, it's really heavy. Some more vellum paper. Wear some lip, red lipstick on the 22nd. My father-in-law arrived that day. That's a die cut from last year that says Wish Upon a Star that I cut on my silhouette. These I cut this year and I've used some spray to ink them. Over here, um, I had this pocket from forever. So I've got some personal journaling in here. And uh, the, also the prompt for day 23. This here was a shopping bag that I loved. Can you see this Merry Christmas? Those are some hair clips I wore at the crop. 
and this is a back of the shopping bag so I thought I'll just use one shopping bag from you know Christmas from the ephemera the stuff that's lying around here don't forget to leave a snack for Father Christmas of course I ignored this completely I don't have kids so we don't put out snacks for Father Christmas and um, I'll show you what happened this is the 24th um, this is a little fold out page uh, that I uh, stole from my son's Facebook profile that's a food on the 24th another fold out page for the 25th and when I woke up on the 25th uh, Nahum was sitting there with a letter from Santa complaining that he came and he found no snacks and blah 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 so I've kept the letters folded in this uh, previous pocket in here this um, opens up and there's a pocket so I've tucked in photos and stuff I was going to decorate this little card but this um, little glassine bag but I haven't done that yet I don't think I will either I'm over I'm finished with this book now we went for coffee this morning and my father-in-law was so upset that he had to drink his grappa out of a little mason jar <laughs> which are all the rage now but he can't understand that he wanted a proper glass so I put a mason jar here and I've written and then in here I've just done extra journaling on this card oops 27th 28th 29th I like ran out of steam and hit a bit of a low so I used the pub's message my niece got eight distinctions for matric in South Africa so that's a clip out of the newspaper 28th 29th also very casual then this is the 31st over here it was really cold and almost snowy so I've used the snowman and so forth this is a countdown to New Year again a lot of personal photos so I'm not going to um, show them to you uh, what I do want to show you on this page however is if you can see here the crackers on our plates were all the theme was the 12 days of Christmas so I've used a little bit on this page nine um, ladies are dancing 11 pipers piping what was this the 10 lords leaping can you see so I use a bit of course everyone thought I was crazy because I was saving all the broken crackers but that's how I roll I'm not going to open this because it's personal photos again that's my kids on the 31st and then what I've done for the new year is sweet 16 I take my album up to epiphany which um, that is actually the 12 days of Christmas from the 25th until the 6th in fact Christmas wasn't celebrated until the year 300 AD so people just celebrated the epiphany just for an interesting fact and there I've written forgiveness liberates the soul it removes fear that is why it is such a powerful weapon that's from Nelson Mandela and once again I have brought in the little wreath that's the first of January uh, this is a little stamp that I stamped with one of Corinne's stamps really cute um, jumping days again the fourth fifth the sixth was um, epiphany we went to the zoo on that day had a picnic and us cold you know out in the cold and I put 12 days of Christmas and at the end I've just used an icon um, saying epiphany and just saying how Christmas wasn't celebrated until the year 370 AD and I've stuck this lovely paper on the back of the chipboard and this is a little star from Elena's pocket letter that I put there so that's the album ladies um, thanks for all the inspiration of the girls that did December daily on Facebook and Shamal and um, I wish you all a very good year bye